Honorable Singh. However history judges the IFP in the future, you may be rest assured that Honorable Minister of Higher Education, you will be part of that history because I am told that you are a former member of the IFP. <laughs> Read Anthea Jeffrey's book, The People's War. And on Honorable on Minister, point, throwing more money. Of order, chair. Point of order. It's unacceptable for the IFP to try and claim us as former. Yeah. And for the record, that is not true. And it says a lot about the IFP rather than about us, this side of the house. Continue, Honorable Member. Honorable Minister, throwing more money into NASFAS and, and FETs, like you've mentioned now, from 1 billion to 6 billion, does not automatically mean that they are administered better. Visit these FETs and you will see what we are talking about. Go to places like Kwak Tigazi and other places where we've been and we've seen the terrible conditions that exist there. However, it was unfortunate that the Honorable Trollope attacked the Ngoniyama Trust Act passed by the then KwaZulu government. Without that act, many more black South Africans would have been dispossessed as a koi. Had the act not protected the so-called reserves, they would have become state land as happened in other areas. Our appeal is that we need to approach land reform in an orderly and sober manner to avoid South Africa going the route of Zimbabwe. Our farms are the breadbasket of our nation. Let us not jeopardize these valuable economic assets with rash rhetoric and misguided policy. Thank we are you. very concerned. Honorable member, your time has expired. Yes.